Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. Today I want to show you the Abutment Retrieval Kit from Nobel BioCare. This kit has tools that allow you to easily remove abutments that are stuck in the implant. And the tools in this kit are designed to work with the conical connection implants only. And there are three different kinds of tool that are included in this kit, and each one requires that the abutment screw has already been removed. If you do have a broken screw in the implant, you will need to use a screw retrieval kit before using one of these abutment retrieval tools. The first tool in this kit is called the abutment release pin. It works for all Nobel abutments and it's quick and easy to use, so it's typically going to be the best tool to start with for all abutment types. The release pin is inserted into the abutment and then is gently rocked back and forth to loosen the abutment from the implant. Once you feel the abutment loosen, it can be lifted out of the implant. The other two tools are each designed for a specific type of abutment. They are the abutment retrieval instrument titanium and the abutment retrieval instrument zirconia. The abutment retrieval instrument titanium is specifically for Nobel Procera CAD titanium abutments that have the internal screw threads. And it looks similar to a normal screw, except that it's taller and the threads are higher up on the screw body. And the way it works is that as you screw the retrieval tool into the abutment, the bottom of the tool makes contact with the bottom of the implant screw hole and it forces the abutment up and out. Again, this will only work for titanium abutments that have the internal threading. The final tool is the abutment retrieval instrument zirconia, and it can be used for full zirconia abutments as well as the kind with the titanium base. And this tool is actually a two-piece system comprised of the engaging pin and the activating needle. And to use this tool, you'll separate the two pieces, and then the engaging pin is inserted into the abutment until it reaches a stop. Next, the activating needle is inserted into the engaging pin and pushed down firmly until the top of the needle is flush with the top of the engaging pin. You may need to use hemostats to get these two pieces to fully mate. This process activates the wings of the engaging pin so that they are underneath the bottom edge of the abutment interface. The engaging pin can now be lifted up, which will pull the abutment out with it. Each of the tools in this kit can also be purchased separately, and we have listed the part numbers of both the kit and the individual tools in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.